Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll be modeling a scissors inside Blender. So let's get started. I will just turn on my screen uh, cast case so you can just follow along with everything I'm doing. Okay. So first of all, we want to go ahead and add in a reference image. Okay. So this is the scissors we'll be modeling. We'll add a simple plane. So what we want to do with this plane is to just get the basic outline. So I'm going to move this above. The reference image if you don't want to select your reference you can always turn off this select icon here so if you don't see it here this is where you can go to enable all your select um, your visibility and select icons in the outliner okay so i will just rotate this and switch to wireframe and in edit mode i'll switch to vertex and just start aligning this to fit you could easily go high poly or low poly with this and by that i mean um you can just start modeling every single angle to make sure it fits or you could go kind of low poly um just getting the overall shape um and later take advantage of the b mesh functionality in blender to start cutting in details and kind of building that way so I'll extrude it up to this point I don't know if you guys can see very clear uh, but so it's looking good and I think it stops here okay and then we can extend this so we're kind of creating all the landmarks based of the reference so that um, when we start kind of adding more details everything will just make sense okay so at this point um, uh, we can notice this kind of like a nice spiral effect so we want to make topologies to allow us um, go create that data so extra this downwards So it's just basically matching the reference. I'll take this. And right here. So we might need an extra edge loop with using control R. Move this to the right, so you can see it. So using control R you can add an edge loop and we can just close this up so now what we've done is we've created the, um, the ability to allow us to have this nice edge loop here but I want to prevent it from kind of going this direction because it's going to start messing up with topology so we want to kind of break up that topology here so most when you hear about creating your own um, kind of controlling your topology with my sound Kind of stressful um, to understand but um, with topology is basically from experience that you really get to understand how it works so I've kind of created a circular topology here to prevent when I add edge loops um, it would not just go I want each edge loop to stop here okay so I'll hide this for now so let's see what we have here So we don't want this, not looking so good. So we can select this point and join it. So we just have um, just one triangle here which will not break the bank. But we still have nice faces. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's see. Join this. 
and you can always test how it will behave with subdivisions by adding subdivisions to kind of see if your topo topology will be problematic later you can try to kind of move things around like I said it's uh, if you're starting to if you're trying to learn um, using visual feedback will definitely help you understand how it works uh, so I don't I cannot tell especially since I um, the design is not yet like in place uh, but I can leave it as this for now and switch it as needed okay so we've gotten the base shape um, now we start creating room for this indentation so we kind of want to we can start moving like the edges into place so this is quite easy this part okay um, so we are good now to start kind of extruding stuff and making it come into shape so the next step is to select your mesh because now we want to start extruding so we can duplicate this and hide it in another layer so that if we make mistake uh, we can always kind of have this to fall back on so we'll just hide this so for this we'll select everything and extrude slightly maybe some depth okay good and the reason for that is um, this uh, basically has different um, design in the front and back that's why I'm not just using a solidify modifier so let's see if we get that outline correctly so we have so I'm going to select this side too Okay, and then insert it and extrude it so I'll just scale it down so that we'll just get a slight indentation we don't want to mess up the topology so much so now we have this difference between uh, kind of the flow of the design Where you can see it like this okay so we're almost done now and for the rest of the design that's this nice the handle so for that we select all of this scale it on the z, z axis because we already extruded everything and then we'll extrude this to create um, this nice uh, this nice uh, kind of petrition here well before we do that let's select everything and apply the rotation and scale uh, because sometimes if you want to extrude things or do certain operation in edit mode it works better if you've applied the rotation and scale um, if you if you go center the region that helps too so select this and extrude it but this seems not to be working let's see probably have to manually kind of adjust them Okay, so next is to kind of um, make it 
more rounded so we could separate these two parts and make it its own section uh, which i might actually do that but before we do that let's kind of see the reference of some more or we could actually create that effect using subdivisions so if you see something like this all you need to do is selecting all your mesh do shift n to fix that it's just basically um, the normal state creating that effect so we can get the rounded edges with the subdivision so that works too now for the nice spiral design here so the design is coming this direction and kind of leads onto this move this out a bit like this and kind of leads into this okay so once we have selected what we need we can move it um, probably need to select it for this too so we we'll scale it on the z axis okay and then we bevel it with ctrl b and then extrude and then scale on the z axis probably don't need to select this just to get the exact effect um, the reference has so scale on the z axis then bevel this extrude scale on the z axis So then to round everything up, we'll just adjust this versus and fix the topology that will prevent it from having this weird um, artifacts. Let's see. So I'm just sliding the vertices to have a more smooth transition. not perfect but it's okay you can live with this okay so for the final touch let's going to emphasize this some more and here we go also the subdivision also kind of um soften some of the sharp edges um, like this one so we could add the bevel here there are some things to be said whether you want to just use the crease for stuff like this or use the bevel um, but if you plan to export your mesh to another software it's advisable to use bevel or if you know you work within blender you could get away with the crease so by that i mean if you select this and press shift e it's just gonna crease it to get the same effect but less geometry so either could work um, depending on your workflow okay i think we're almost done now it's time to just flip it so let's see how it's looking at the back yeah this place has no indentation from the reference and this place has an indentation so let's do that um, let's flip it so um, ctrl d or shift d Okay, and rotate Y. So I'm basically going to rotate it on the Y axis. And the reason I know that is I want to rotate it along this axis. Okay, 
and if you select your gizmo or if you turn out on your gizmo you can see this is the y-axis and you can kind of reference it here too remove annotation layer okay so i want to rotate this on the negative uh, on the y-axis so i'll just go here in the y-axis rotate 180 degrees so it's basically gonna flip it and now using the reference you can just move it into place okay and for the final touch we'll move it downwards slightly so we need to add the kind of bolt holding them together for that I'm going to add a simple circle reduce the vertices to about 12 since we'll be adding subdivision and extrude it upwards extrude inwards and you could fill it or kind of merge it uh, merge it and then select this um, loop and control B just bevel it that's how we get that I will duplicate this and rotate Y180 degrees so we have it flipped just move it downwards and we can join this as one object so that's basically it guys we have our scissors so um, this is going to be it for this tutorial we just kind of uh, wanted to show you guys the asset we're using for the next tutorial which is going to be rigging the scissors so i hope you enjoyed this and if you wish to see more from me don't forget to subscribe and thank you so much for watching bye bye for now see you next time